Cajun. Yes, sir. Styling on them. <laughs> I know what it is. Whoo! By the Main time card. we get to, yeah, by the time we get to this card, I am sixty-five dollars broker, but for good reason. <laughs> It is the main card, <laughs> UFC 252. Shout out, shout out to my guy DC. I don't even want to foretell it, but yeah, Let, let's get to the first card, our first fight on this card. We get Magomed Anka Ankalev versus Eon Kuta. Hey man, help me with his last name. Kuta Laba. Kuti Laba. Kuti Laba. Okay, a rematch mm. of a fight that was eh, sort of prematurely stopped. But Kutalaba didn't do himself any justice by making it seem like he was out on his feet. But as soon as they got stopped, he straightened up real quick. He was like, hey, hey <laughs> easy. I was, I was trying to bait him. I was trying to bait him. He was over there so doing he, uh, the yeah, Macarena. Yeah. <laughs> this, oh man, this fight has stoppage, performance bonus. We're in all fight of the over night. it. Somebody getting slept of the night, bro. Somebody done. getting slept of the night. That's it. Knockout of the night yeah. is coming. Knockout. Yeah. Somebody getting slept. It, it's happening. Uh, it, this one. This one is happening. Uh, man, Ankalev. Ankalev got eight KOs on thirteen wins. Kutilaba got twelve KOs on fifteen wins. Uh, a rough yeah, UFC bro. career. Pretty four and four UFC. <sighs> yeah. Um, yeah, it's tough, man. You you've been fighting tough competition. Uh, I saw what he did to my guy, um, Khalil Roundtree, and that's uh, yeah, but it's 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 a level of power and aggression that Kuti Lava comes with. That's kind of like yeah, man. Uh, and I mean, right, even man. even the losses that he has are, I mean, it's no no shame in taking any of, any of those losses. If he loses, he had to he got the uh, ankle left loss, and then the ankle left loss, a DQ loss. So it's not like he's out here losing. He's more so beating himself in the ring. So if he can prevent from doing that, things can start looking up. Uh, these guys still got their fighting career ahead of them. Uh, Kuti Lava could very well be a guy who's a stalwart in like the top 15 at light heavyweight. Uh, I think so. And, and so, and as well as Ankalev, like these both, both of these guys are destined to be in that top 15 rank at, uh, at 205. So once they get done with this, it's going to be interesting to see where they go next maybe even the third fight if Kuchi Laba pulls off the uh the stoppage or, or even it. pulls off the win yeah so might might need a rubber match with, between these two guys don't want to get ahead of myself too much but I like the matchup the Ozmakers don't like the matchup they think we're going to see something of what we saw last time let me yeah bro they yeah. they clearly they clearly weren't paying attention because uh, I mean, he was playing the whole I'm wobbled, I'm wobbled uh, thing, but I feel like I, I really don't think Ankalev really even hit him like clean at all in that fight. Uh, like the the, 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 right. the stoppage was clearly uh, questionable, but at the same time, you know, you got to come out right. here with a better game plan. <laughs> That's what you want. I'm gonna play drunk, right? I'm gonna play drunk, yeah. Facts, cause old buddy, the old buddy never <laughs> fell. Old buddy never fell. He was never like knocked up against the cage. None of that. He was just standing up in the middle of the ring like this, and it was like, was, oh, oh get him up, one of the stop it. Worst stoppages. Be, that's that's worse than uh, allowing a guy to take too much damage. Like not letting right. the guy take enough damage is <laughs> discredited in the fighter. Like hey, hey, let him take another punch. It wasn't like he was in a position to take uh, punches unanswered. He was he wasn't against the cage. He was just wobbled on his feet or playing wobbled on his feet, whatever you want to call it. Playing wobble. Uh, playing wobble. So he basically did the. Uh, yeah. He was basically doing the Anderson Silva versus Weidman one on every time Ankalev even swung at him. Every swing it was. <laughs> and then it's bro. like, hey, bro, you really just can't, can't do, do that. Hey, and that's why it's minus three hundred Ankalev to plus two thirty. Oh. And that, my friend, is my upset starting starting the uh, minus three hundred. My starting the starting the main card, we get an upset according to the. I think Kutalaba. Let me make sure. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, plus two thirty. Didn't need the glass, but I saw it plus two thirty. I think Kutalaba aggression, his takedown ability, even his punching power, and his takedown defense. KOs. Yeah, twelve KOs, two subs. He's swinging heavy. Ankalev has eight KOs, zero subs. 
not much of a submission guy. Super powerful guy. They, these, and Kuti Lava is clearly yeah. trying to kill you. Clearly trying to kill you. You just have 14 finishes. I only see 15 yeah. fights. So that means he's clearly trying to kill you. Uh, I think the yeah. only thing that Ankalev might have in his favor is Kuti Lava might come out too aggressive. Too, yeah, it might uh, be if he can, if he can, ah, just hold back a little bit. Just hold back a little bit. Like, make sure you don't do too much. I, I don't know, man. Bro, I think minus could, 300? It's possible, yeah. it's possible we can see an uh, uh, instance of what Kutalaba Kut did to Khalil Roundtree. That's what I predict, to be honest. And it's like, a, a mauling, I mean, a mauling of sorts. And, and see, that's the thing. It, it, I mean, it did look like. Uh, the ref had a reason to stop it in that first fight because Ankalev came out and he was just throwing hella strikes, uh, very diverse, uh, coming from all angles, kicking, punching, swinging, everything. Uh, Kutilabo, on the other hand, is really only looking for low kicks and, I mean, heavy punches to the face, uh, body, mm-hmm. face, heavy punches. Uh, so, I mean... Ankalev might have the more diverse striking, but even still, bro, like all, it, it only takes one. So hey, minus three hundred, y'all got it in Vegas. But hey, I personally, I got, I got, I got Kutilaba myself too. I so I got Kutilaba as well. Hey man, we minus still agree. Honey, minus three hundred. Oh my goodness, plus two thirty. Plus two thirty with that good. Hey, I'm chance. taking that. Even, I'm taking even it. If it was just a puncher's chance. He has a chance. Like a, yes. he has a better than the plus two thirty chance. So. Yeah, you might want to get on those bets early. Maybe they uh, change their mind as they get closer to the fight, like they did with uh, Lewis versus Olenek, and that stuff starts to shrink down. But yeah, I'm rolling with Kutalaba getting this one done. You rolling with Kutalaba getting it done. Kutalaba's rolling with himself getting it done, of course. Gotta be. Gotta be. So yeah. We're going to probably see a rubber match out of this one because Kutalaba's getting it done via stoppage, and they're going to have to run it back. So yeah. Stay with us. Stay rocking with us. It's Cajun style. Next up, John Dobson versus Marab Disvalishvili. Oh, man. I like oh, it. Man. So stay tuned. It's Cajun style. Let us know who you think going to win, too. Yeah, let down us know. There. Let down us there. Know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just in case we don't know, you know. <laughs> Cajun. Yes, sir. Styling on them. <laughs> Y'all know what it is.